Well, good morning, good morning everybody. Ryan Guy here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, as you can see, everything's running great. Look, I got a gas gauge again. And my four-wheel drive light works. Well, I'm in two right now, but yeah, you get the point. Yeah, so today's gonna be, you know, kind of a fairly short video, I guess. It's, uh, I'm just going from here, Fox Mountain Campground, where I have my, uh, my trailer and, you know, seasonal lot again, so. I'm going from here over to uh, New Germany to uh, my buddy Scott's camp and uh, we're just going to see what he's up to if he's going to be home. Let me uh, pop in unannounced <laughs> right at lunchtime too. Perfect. He might have some extra burgers or hot dogs on the on the grill on the old barbecue. So anyway guys like I said it's great to be back and uh, looking forward to making some great videos. Right now it's been pretty dry. Uh, we got some rain coming but I'd like to get in some good mud videos for you guys to keep you engaged, keep you interested. Anyway, we'll see you guys out in the trail. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Uh, I think it's calling for around well, about 20 degrees maybe and uh, fairly sunny. So I don't know how many clicks we're going to put on. I actually reset my odometer or my trip meter. So we'll see you guys later on. Thanks. Now I'm just looking now, it's hard to believe that, uh, or hard to believe how green everything has become last week. Yeah, there's not that many uh, leaves on the trees yet, but look at all the buds. It's, uh, we've had a little bit of rain and we've had quite a bit of sun in the last week. Man, it's just sprouting everything up like crazy. Even the ferns are starting to come up. I don't like this part of the trail, it's really rocky. I got my uh, my suspension set to the softest setting this time. I just, you know, it's just me driving. I'm trying to get a little bit more flex out of the suspension. And I gotta tell you, the work that I did to the handlebars, like when I replaced the front, the top bushings, uh, the bottom bushing, the pitman arm, the uh, tie rod ends, oh, the dirt bike, and uh, anyway, and the steering stem, whatever it is, it's like a, well, it's a bearing down the very bottom, right where the pitman arm goes through. Uh, I did all that, man, there's not, a, there's not a millimeter of play in these bars, which is awesome. I'm so used to having that little bit of a clunk every time, you know, you hit a rock or something. But, uh, no, this is great. I would imagine there's going to be quite a few people out today. It's a gorgeous day. Checking my Facebook feed this morning, a bunch of guys out home are going out. Um, I know in the valley today there's actually a, a mud bog competition and some sand drags. Uh, I was actually going to go to that, but you know, I, I brought my bike up here and might as well use it. Plus, I wanted to really give it a good test run. I suppose it's as good a spot of any. <laughs> Got everything you need mud, long trail. Tight woods trail. And again, I've said it before, I just, I love riding up this way. Now, I've come quite a, quite a long distance since the last time I turned the camera on, just because, like I said, I don't want to record all, all road driving for you, but... I'm not going to stop for too long here because the freaking black flies that carry your way. Um, they've done a lot of work to these roads like that. I actually got lost coming back here. I, I normally can do this by memory, but you know, just because I've done this route so many times. But this did not look like this last year at all. I guess the road we're going to take here is a number five. But it's just like, wow. And they got things kind of different. Like, like I have a map in that uh, fishing rod holder, but it's 
from 2003. Obviously, it's really, really outdated now, but man. Couldn't believe I got lost. I was like, what? Where am I? Okay, anyway, we're on the right track now. We want to come in the backside of uh, Lake Torment and Armstrong Lake and all those lakes. Because you can take the the way that the snowmobiles take, I mean, they, this is a secondary trail here too, but you can take that way, but uh, because they have it all marked out, but I want to get on the back side of the lake, because that's where uh, Scott's camp is. So, anyway. Yeah, man, what a difference. <laughs> what a gorgeous day, though. I know they're calling for a little bit of rain this afternoon, but should be out of the woods by then. I say that, you never know though. You see they've done quite a bit of uh, work to some of these bridges. Uh, not these little tiny ones, but more so the bigger bridges. I just seen some what looked like to be car tire tracks in here. Probably could take an old beater car back here. Might end up tearing the belly pan out of it, but... Dust on the camera. Man, I'm cruising along today. It's only been... Geez, I went about 40 kilometers within about an hour. That's, that's cruising. <laughs> Really nice areas out here though, like I say, that's why I love coming back. Nice little brook. Oh, nice lake too. Uh, I can't remember if this is Chains Lake, Chain Lake, Armstrong, one of them. Let's see if we can get a better view of this lake here. What a nice spot to go fishing. So many fishing lakes up this way. There we go. I mean, just look at this. Lots of little water skippers on the water, too. And it's mayfly season. Wish I had more time to do some fishing this weekend, but... Like I said, a lot of the time gets uh, kind of screwed up because I was setting my trailer up. I wanted to get out yesterday. Such a gorgeous day it was yesterday, too. A oh, little campfire pit look. Cooking your fish right inside the trail. I had this conversation with a friend of mine the other day who lives in the city and you know, I was really not interested in any of the activities that I do, you know, off-road and going out and seeing this kind of stuff. I said, why wouldn't you? I mean, this stuff was different. I get out in the woods, I, I'm so content. I'm, it's gorgeous. I love the woods. Uh, I, he just, I don't know. He's been out with me once or twice. Yeah, yeah, it's fun, but he just, it doesn't attract him. You know, it doesn't attract them like it does me. Uh, just, you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess. But I just, I am not a city goer by any means, man. I, I can't live in the city where there's traffic and, and there's all this 
activity and noise all the time. You can never do it. Five north. That's the way I normally come in. But yeah, this is, I don't know, man. I could never do it. It just does not attract me to city life. And yes, it's convenient. You're getting everything that you need right in one spot. You know, a lot of times you get a job in the city, you don't even have to have a car. But I you know, just can't do it, man. I love what I do on the weekends. You know, I work hard so I can be able to do this stuff. And I'm glad to be able to entertain you guys too, because like I said, I just, I don't know. I like making these videos, you know, for myself, my own records, but I'm really glad that you guys enjoy them. Where are the clear cut mansions? Oh, that's crazy. And they must have just, like I said, they must have graded these roads right after uh, trucking season came. Because I know the weight restrictions are all off the roads now, so. I'm glad I actually don't have a bunch of bikes out today because it's, it's dusty. Just going this speed, it's uh, not too bad here, but back on those uh, gravel roads and fire roads. Holy jeez. You go blind. Coming up through here, it's we're getting into some residential area along the, the lakes here. People got their, their camps or the cottages, their house. Well, I mean, that's a house over there. This is Armstrong Lake here. I may take that way back. I'm not quite sure yet. That's what I'll probably end up doing. That's the uh, 96 trail, I think. 96 and 93, I can't remember. I like these grips. If you guys are looking into replacing some grips for your ATV, these Pro Taper Pillow Top grips specifically made for uh, ATVs because I got the, the narrower ring around here. I like I said I used to run these on my dirt bike, but they just they're so tacky, like and they don't they don't wear out fast either. That's what I like. I think I'm in different colors and everything. They're really worth the money. I think they're like 24 bucks or something like that. They're a little bit more expensive than, you know, those regular black or uh, gray Scott grips you can get at a lot of the dealers. But, you know, I, I went with good quality parts this time. I really didn't want to uh, cheap out because I want to keep this, uh, <coughs> I want to keep this bike for a while. Yeah, trail land. See, we're getting other residential stuff now. Well, that was a good visit with Scott. Had a good freaking uh, good lunch, man. Big old bologna sandwich and uh, a bunch of cheese and crackers. And oh yeah, had some guests over. I really didn't want to drop in unexpected with guests, but oh well. So thanks for the uh, the lunch and some beer, Scott. I appreciate it. So we're on our way back now. You can tell the sky's gotten a little bit more gray, so I wanted to get out, head home before uh, any rain happens. I really don't want to be out on the trail when it's just raining, but I really don't have all my rain gear with me, which I should have done. I'm stupid for not doing that, but oh well. I'll be digging up his foundation or something. I gotta say, running these trails when there's no dust is quite good. I don't mind running them like this. You just gotta watch out for other bikes around corners and things like that. They've obviously been doing some logging through here. <laughs> a little bit of a drift. Just gotta watch what you're doing.
And if you do come up to another bike around the corner, don't panic and go on the other side of the road because I've seen people do that. Then you're cutting that guy off. Then you're kind of screwed. Albeit a bit rocky, this is a nice trail. This is the 96. Again, all part of the integrated snowmobile trails that uh, are out this way. Secondary on the map, I guess. There's a nice little lake up this way. I can't quite remember what the name of it is. I'll just show you guys here. Go little fishing spots in here. It's a bit swampy coming through here though, like uh, like all down there. The trail's fine. Somebody's already fishing. Nice little hidden lake. I like it. I don't know if the fish is any good, but... Might be camping up that way too. Because there's a beautiful little camping spot right up top of there. Again, a lot of these trails, a lot of these spots are accessible by truck. You don't need an ATV. Uh, buddy only had a two-wheel drive Ranger, it looked like. Just getting through here. If you don't mind the sides of your truck getting scratched up a little bit because of the branches. I've, I've been cruising on my way home here. Just a giving her. Give her, give her, give her! instances when you get in the, these trails with a lot of rocks on them it's a lot smoother just to cruise over them just to go faster I sold my dirt bike before I got a chance to actually do any major riding up this way kind of regret it kind of don't I don't know I drive this way too more or way too more yeah <laughs> good grammar way too much to uh Justify having both right now. So I kind of just decided to make the make the decision to sell it. Oh, I'm loving how good this bike feels underneath of me now. No sloppiness anywhere, no clunks, no bangs, no squeaks. I basically rebuilt the whole drivetrain and suspension system. All except for the actual physical shocks.
cooled off, I had to put my sweater on. That old rain's on its way. You see, I didn't bring my GPS with me, but I knew I wasn't gonna go far. I was hoping Dean was gonna be there with his razor, but uh, he was not. Well, he was there, just the razor wasn't. lawn chair or something in there. Intersection coming up. I showed you guys this before. There's a geocache right on top of that hill. That rock pile. That's a big old pile of rocks. So just finally get off that service road. Man, I just looked at my odometer or my trip meter. Wow. 112 kilometers that does not feel like it went 112 kilometers they just accumulate so damn quick when you're on those roads uh, actually you know what that brings me to a little bit of a point uh, when you go to look at used ATVs and things like that Sometimes it really is not about the amount of kilometers. Uh, you know, it's how, the, how it's maintained, obviously. Uh, religious oil changes, I change mine every 50 hours. Um, and I go by my hour meter. Uh, and if you don't have an hour meter, just clock how many hours you're out roughly in the run of a day. Uh, if you're over by 10 or 20 hours, I don't, well, maybe not 20, if you're over by 10, or under by 10, I don't think it's gonna be that much of a difference. But, uh, you know, you always want your oil to be clean. This thing's got 8,000 something, 700 on it. And it doesn't burn any oil. You know, I, I changed the oil religiously ever since I got this bike. And I, I bought this bike used, it wasn't brand new. I bought it for six, like, well, I think I paid six grand for this back like four or five years ago. Something like that, I can't remember now, but it only had something like 680 kilometers on it. And I was like, yeah, well, buddy just used it around his yard, plowing his driveway. So, I don't know, uh, I guess another thing to look at is engine hours to kilometers ratio. You know, it may have high kilometers on it. So like, say if you're after a bike and it's got 5,000 clicks on it, uh, but it's got really low engine hours. Well, that kind of just proves to you, along with the, the shape that the bike is in, that uh, yes, it was run mostly on roads. Because if it was run mostly in trails, the kilometers may be lower, but the engine hours would be higher. You know, I've never gone up this way. Let's just take a poke around the corner here, see what's up this way. Like I said, I'm by myself. I don't want to go too, too deep. I really haven't been doing much exploration. See some fresh excavator tracks up through here. Maybe a forwarder. Ah, oh, it's like a pit. Still looks quite used. I'm guessing this is a back road or something in there to it. I wonder if DOT owns this or something. Yeah, that's obviously a back road or something to it. Got to be careful when you're in places like this, unfamiliar. Could be uh, metal or anything like that sticking out of the ground. You just never know. Just take it right easy. Yeah, this is used fairly often. You can tell fresh tire tracks and excavator tracks up this way.
<sighs> I wonder. I wonder. Four wheel drive. Low. You see what I'm going for, right? Diff lock. Look, everything works. Awesome. Oh yeah, she's in diff lock for sure. Okay. Oh, that was a rough one. Hopper out of diff lock here. That was kind of cool. Probably wasn't supposed to do that, but. I had to test the four wheel drive, you know. It had to be done. Back onto the rocks. Anyway, guys, we're coming up to the end of the journey here. Uh, no, it hasn't been that exciting for you, but uh, actually, I think there's going to be some more running coming up next weekend. But uh, I'm definitely glad I got out and uh, glad that I'm back. <laughs> got the old girl running great. So uh, I thank you once again for your patience. And uh, oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, anyway, I thank you once again for your patience, and uh, we'll see you guys next round. Thanks a lot, guys.